Clark and I'm uh, an Associate Professor in Field Archaeology. Fieldwork is fundamental to the discipline of archaeology. I think it's, it's the absolute um, basic need because it's the study of the past and really what better way to study the past than by working with the physical remains, working with the buildings, with the objects, the artefacts um, that people had. So it's a very physical discipline and I think um, that really does allow you to uncover the data that will then answer all the research questions that we pose as archaeologists. My name's John Carson. I'm a postdoctoral researcher in the Department of Geography and Environmental Science. My discipline is probably somewhere between geography and archaeology. It's called paleoecology. And for the main part for me, fieldwork means traveling um, to the tropics in uh, South America mostly in Amazonia and Bolivia and Brazil uh, and we do things like collect sediment cores from lakes and get terrestrial sediments from soil pits um, and I've made a bit of a hash of doing some archaeological digging as well. I'm Bina Balan Sarojini from the Department of Geography and Environmental Sciences and I'm an environmental science scientist, particularly climate scientist. Fieldwork means really understanding the, what the real climate system looks like using different kind of measurement campaigns, using aircraft measurements, satellite measurements and ship cruises. Uh, my name is Leonello, a degree I got a BA from the University of Milan and then an MA and an MSc from, from Reading. Fun, first of all, because it is very often fun and it also provides you with, with facts and as it's not an abstract field, it's, you just need to, to got data to, to discuss. Yeah, it depends. Most of times I've been involved in an excavation, so you, you dig, of course, but also it involves a high degree of dynamism, I think, because I have also done like field walking surveys, so you have to walk the whole day. Uh, yeah, it depends on, on what you're doing. You may be doing several different things. So. My name is Isabella Stasevich and I'm a PhD student in human geography, in geography and environmental science. In my discipline of human geography, um, fieldwork is about uh, observing and collecting data about um, people, cultures and environments. So I'm about to start a phase of fieldwork in Indonesia and Malaysia, so I'm going to be speaking with local communities and uh, plantation workers, and these are plantations, uh, palm oil plantations in, in those regions. Uh, so I'm going to be conducting interviews and participatory mapping and Venn diagrams. And my name's Ian Davenport, I'm a PDRA working on uh, remote sensing. My field work is mostly going out into the field and measuring the physical characteristics that we're trying to, to measure from satellite observation. So really validation of where vegetation is, what soil moisture is, um, how much snow is on the ground, physical characteristics, that sort of thing. Uh, basically we usually send out a team of folk so we can cover a large area. We'll go out and if there's snow out there we'll, we'll dig a pit in it and try to measure the things like the grain size and the density. If we're measuring soil moisture we'll go out and in a grid we'll sort of just go out with prongs uh, up and down for hours on end uh, measuring soil moisture. Um, if we're doing things on trees then we'll go out and measure tree height, savage a few trees to pluck leaves off them and measure them and, and see what the orientation are, that sort of thing. Hi, I'm Lisa Lodrick. I'm a research assistant on the Silchester projects and I'm an archaeobotanist, so I study ancient plant remains. So the main tasks as an archaeobotanist is to take um, soil samples from sites and then we process them by flotation, uh, which is like a process of breaking down the samples in water, um, using our hands and then collecting plant remains. Um, so it basically involves playing with buckets of water every day. My name is Philip Smither and I'm an MRES student in archaeology. Fieldwork in archaeology is absolutely everything. If there isn't a field to dig in, then we've got no work left. And especially for me, as I'm working with Roman finds, I need as many sites to be dug to find as many things. I'm Liz Shaw and I'm a lecturer in soil microbiology. So my main fieldwork involves just getting material to then study in the laboratory. 
Um, so it may involve just digging up soil, soil samples. Um, occasionally, we try and measure some of the, the microbial processes that are happening at the sort of field plot scale. But then our main kind of target is to get material to, to um, take back to the lab to characterise further. My name's Nick Pankhurst and I'm a project officer working for the Silchester Town Life Project and the Silchester Environs Project. Well, fieldwork for me is, is archaeology, so working for the Silchester Town Life Project for the last 15 years I've been working on the excavation of a Roman city about 10 miles from Reading. Um, and day to day that's basically excavating and recording archaeological features and deposits. I'm Hannah and I'm a second year undergraduate human physical geography student. And I'm Sarah and I do the same. I think within our degree, because we do human and physical, we have a variety of actual physical acts like through geomorphology or hydrological practicals, but then there's also the social side. Um, it's, yeah, it's very broad, so like, we also do interviews, questionnaires, everything really. Well, we went to the human field class at the beginning of year two in Dublin, which was very um, social orientated because we conducted a lot of interviews with people. It was very spontaneous as well, so none of it was really planned. Um, so therefore, yeah, we had to think on our feet a lot. I'm Pascal Flor. I'm a postdoc in Middle Eastern archaeology. Um, I'm studying the um, effect of climate on past societies. Um, well, I'm an archaeologist, so it's, it's the basis of everything. Without fieldwork, we don't have any data. Um, so yeah, I think it's, it's everything. It's the basis of all our research. I am Dr. Jeff Griffiths and I'm a geographer and my job title is Associate Professor uh, and I'm responsible for admissions and recruitment. Fieldwork in geography, because it's a very wide-ranging subject, means lots of things, but particularly in my area of interest, which is in ecology and biogeography and landscapes, it's persuading students to get out into the field and observe and to actually put into practice some of the skills that they may have learnt in the lab or in the classroom and so on. So it's about observation, about really seeing things in a way that you can't otherwise until you, unless you get out into the landscape. Uh, I'm Georgia and I am a PhD student in archaeology. As a micromorphologist, which is my specialization, I record sections uh, and I try to take sediment samples that are intact in order to make thin sections out of them. Um, so that involves studying the section, it involves cutting out blocks of sediment and just trying to take them out in one piece. It feels really great when that happens, sometimes it doesn't. My name is Saroa Garcia Suarez and I'm a PhD student at the University of Reading. Well, fieldwork in my discipline in archaeology means basically excavation. So for me, it means uncovering remains of past societies. Hi, uh, my name is Mike Bell. I'm a PhD student in uh, geography and environmental science. And it could involve collecting samples from the field that you then take back and analyse in a laboratory, or it could mean taking measurements of conditions at the time when you're out in the field, say like flow in a river or the flux of carbon dioxide from the soil, um, or it could mean um, maintaining or downloading readings from uh, continuous loggers which um, sort of, uh, yeah, continually monitoring environmental parameters. So it could be a range of things really. Um, my name is Alexandra Knox and I have a PhD in Anglo-Saxon Archaeology um, from the University of Reading and I'm a postdoc in the department. The fieldwork that I'm involved in is running the uh, Liminge Archaeological Project excavations. Uh, we've been doing that for three years and it involves um, a six-week excavation uh, for over three years in the summer uh, down in Kent. So um, I'm involved in uh, running the day-to-day -day excavation, training on site, looking after my staff, um, and basically uh, run the excavation under the directorship of Dr. Gabor Thomas. My name's Richard Tegg, and I'm a fieldwork technician for physical geography, archaeology, and environmental science at the University of Reading. 
field work I do, I undertake field work for research students, help them in the field, undergrad students, preparing them to take equipment out in the field if they've never used it, and they've shown how to use it. And staff as well, they sometimes require equipment and they don't know how to use it. Like this, so, like, um, but sometimes it's a staff request to use equipment as well. Some of the tasks, uh, geography, a lot of students like digging pits, soil pits with the with the environmental scientists, they do like digging soil pits. That does seem to be their favourite pastime, uh, collecting soil samples. Sometimes it's leaf sampling and uh, what else do they want to collect? Oh, there's a variety of uh, items they like to collect as well. Yes, I'm Frank Mayo and I'm a professor uh, in tropical paleoecology. Good. That means lots of adventure. It means going to quite remote and hot places. Um, so I tend to go up to the Amazon forest um, in South America, and it involves uh, lots of traveling, uh, lots of roughing it, it's lots of travel on boats up rivers and in lakes, and, uh, and lugging lots of equipment around. So the kind of work that we do uh, is going out to lakes, building coring platforms, taking sediment cores from the center of lakes, lugging all the stuff back and forth, sometimes camping, sometimes staying in small hostels, sometimes digging big pits. My name is uh, Wendy Matthews and I'm an Associate Professor in Archaeology at the University of Reading. In our discipline, uh, fieldwork is a collection of um, the primary data that we're excavating and above all it provides context and it's context that gives meaning to the artifacts, the buildings and everything that we find. So it's both um, an intellectual um, uh, pursuit as well as um, projects involving um, project management but also um, science as well as an increasing amount of science that's conducted in the field as well as the field excavation skills. So it's very interdisciplinary and requires a whole range of skills.